Hello everyone, this is UKJD. I'm going to quickly show you how to um, achieve this wood grain effect on fondant. This can be done on your on a cake board. Just place fondant over a cake board and then begin to do this intricate design. Or you can just cover a cake and you know go ahead to to um, create this. So watch very closely and just see how I've done this. Okay. Yeah. So first I begin, let's just say this is fondant, right? I begin by scoring my fondant, which means I'll just draw lines to, to make it look like wood. You can use a ruler, really. Um, let me just get a ruler. Okay. You can use a ruler to draw the line, just to make sure you, you get the right measurement, okay? You can, you can put your lines anywhere you want, depending on the kind of flooring or the wood effect you you want. So I've just done done this, similar to what I've done with the cake. So once I've done that, I I just go over the lines again to make them quite deep. You know, just to make sure that the grooves are very prominent. So yeah, I do that again. And I do I do that again. So these are one of the tools you need. You can use a sharp knife. You don't really need to use this if you don't have. A sharp knife can do everything. So with that, I also begin to indent the edges, you know, just to give just to give them, you know, that wood edge, you know, that worn, that wear and tear. Okay. So once I've done that to my edges, just one more left. Um, really, you can just do them in different. Um, once I've done that first, just to get the whole, I now begin to, you know, just scratch. Then I pick up from where I made the score marks at the edges, and then I just begin to, to scratch. Yeah. get to the edge you could also just make indentations as well depending if you want the edges to show and yeah I'm just doing this very quickly you could just take your time and you know think through where you want your max to be but really it's a wood flooring really it doesn't really need to be excessively well taught off sometimes if you have the edges if you want the edges to show let's just see you're making a cake board you could also you could also do this you know or chip off a V and then you know I'm just doing this very quickly because I, I want this just to be a short video when you begin to to do it on your keyboard you I promise you you'll see results it begins to look like wood with flooring so after I've done this now um to paint all I did was very simple I just did the scoring and then I painted I used dark brown flare and teddy bare brown just two colors of brown just to give two shades and then with a little vodka any kind of vodka at all I'll try not to show the name just so I don't get into trouble for advertising rights any kind of vodka really just pour it into your pastel and your palette palettes or something for painting yeah okay so just very little amounts a few drops really and then I open my colors and then with one paintbrush I just dip into my paint pot and I mix into the vodka just to get that deep brown you keep mixing and mixing just to get your colors okay just leave this here and then with my other paintbrush I mix you can see this is the lighter brown. If you don't have brown to hand, you can just put a little bit of yellow and black and keep mixing the yellow and black till you get the desired color. It's a bit too thin, so I'll just add a little more. I'll just take from the cap. Okay, I hope my hand is not in the way. Okay. And then I mix, 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 mix. Okay, so you can see there are two two um, types of brown. You could even use just one. 
just keep going. It's just a wood flooring. It's not perfect. That's the good thing about wood grain. It's not perfect. It has a lot of imperfections and color and um, shades all through. 50 shades of brown, if you ask me. So that's it. Just begin to paint. Okay. Because it has been le left to dry, it looks really different. So I paint. I take my time to put the brush in the grooves to make sure the paint, the dark paint, goes into the grooves to give that shade effect. So, yeah. Hope I'm making sense, people. I haven't had any sleep. I tried to make, um, I tried to finish this cake. So I had to make two cakes yesterday. And I started decorating at 9 a.m. 9 p.m., sorry. And with the baby, trust me, I had so many stops. I didn't finish till like 2 a.m. So really sleepy, really tired. But that's nobody's problem. So I'll try not to bore you with that information. So I've painted on the first layer. You can see it's already showing. With the same brush, you know, it doesn't really matter now. I just go into this. If I let this dry for a while and put second coat, it would have looked a bit more different, but that's okay. This is just a tutorial. So with the second one, I just go in. Because it hasn't really dried, it's mixing with the other colors, so it's looking a bit off, but that's okay. When it dries, you can just go over it again with the colors again. But then, that's what I do. So, it's just really trial and error. I'm just going straight strokes, side strokes, you know, just the same strokes that the school marks. Thin. And as you can see, the color is falling into the grooves, giving it that petition. And yeah, because it hasn't dried, you know, it's not looking exactly like mine, but once it dries and it just go right with the light yellow again, then it looks really good. So pretty much that's, that's it in a nutshell. That's how to get the wood texture effect. Thank you very much.